Hey, Gomez Gaming with hints, tips, and tricks for new bros. Uh, mining. So, this is right outside the front door of where I live, so I don't have to go anywhere to go mining. This guy's not an expert. I'm just going to pick one about halfway down. And I'm after one thing, I'm after uh, pyroxers. I don't mess with the Scordite, and I don't mess with the Feldspar, there's just no money in it. Uh, why there isn't any Kernite over here, I don't know. But you want to choose what, what, you're, what you're mining, you know, choose what you're mining. As a new bro, you're not going to have a lot of choice. You can't do ice mining, you can't do moon mining. All you can do is mine these asteroids. So you want to pick the one that you can make the most money from. Just so happens right here where I'm at, the most money I can make is off or, uh, peroxers. And then you would want to pick the, also you'd want to have either viscous or uh, the other one, solid. If you have your choice. So the closest one is solid and that's the one I'm going to. I do have trouble with my screen. I cannot see the asteroid field. That's what really bugs me. Normally, well, I can faintly see it here. Around, around. See that? It's like a half circle. You see it? So I, where I'm going, I'm going over to here on the far end of, of the asteroid field. It just, I, I like to know where I'm at. It gives me perspective, you know. Uh, that's why I also use that uh, tactical overlay. And it's funny, but you don't even get the drones to come in here. This is a really safe mining place, knock on wood. Uh, why am I going into proxers? I want solid proxers which is a little bit different. It's right here. So I, I go for the solid proxers and the viscous proxers. They're, most, they're worth more than the regular proxers. But what I'll do is I'll let my drones, usually I'll just stick my drones on their own asteroid. I'll just give them an asteroid and it's usually a proxers. And then what I'll, I'll use my mining strip miners to um, mine the uh, solid and the uh, and the viscous. And I think I have a within 16 kilometer range, and which means oh, at 16 I can actually start mining. So I can go ahead and lock that and start mining it, like, immediately. Uh, and then what I will do is, since this is hits, tips, and trucks, I'm, I'm just talking out loud here. Um, with my mining drones, I get as close as I can. Well, not as close as I can. I mean, I don't want to be sitting right on top of the thing. That's not necessary. Let's say within five kilometers would be a uh, a good range for uh, let me see where this is it's, it's really close so I'm gonna lock that one and I'm gonna give that one to the drones okay drones go to work but what we're going to do is we'll stop the ship when we get within five kilometers, maybe even closer, maybe three kilometers. What that does is the drones don't have so far to fly back and forth. I mean, you're, if you're out there at 16 kilometers, man, it takes a long time for them to get back and forth. You're nice and close. They get back and forth really quick. So you're more economy, you're making more money in less time.
Okay, now I'll just stop ship, say four kilometers, three kilometers, right on top the asteroids. Now the whole idea for me is not to move, not to move. What I want to do is open up my ore hold, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit my survey scanner. And by the way, if you don't have a survey scanner on your ship, on your mining ship, it's not a mining ship. I don't know what it is, but it ain't a mining ship. You need a survey scanner. Uh-oh, my cat is tearing up my Bible. Can't have that. Fluffy, stop tearing up my Bible. Cute cat. Okay, uh, and so did the ship stop now? I said stop. Doggone still approaching. Now we're all over the top of these doggone things. Which I guess it don't hurt nothing, but uh, that wasn't my plan. Uh, and I'm mainly working on solid proxers here. So I'm going to go down. I'm not, I don't care about the proxers. That's twenty nine ninety seven. that's in there, volume. I don't know if that, I've, I've done, I think I've done this video like 10 times. Um... The number you want to, that you're working, this is actually disappointing. Look at this, 25, 2,500 M3. This one's got 1,700 M3, and this one has 2,500 M3. That's nothing, man. That's nothing. I mean, come on. I want to see 6,000, 8,000, 9,000, not 2,000. 2,000 is one cycle. I'm going to empty that. I'm going to empty that in one cycle, basically one cycle and a little part. One and an eighth cycle, and that thing's gone. I will move that over. What I like to see is be able to read my numbers here. I want to read that M3. How many M3 do I have? I got two point four seven one M3 out of seven thousand. This uh, ore hold holds 7,000. Now, because we can't make doggone 30 minute videos, I'm going to have to skip to my next trick. See, now watch. The asteroid's depleted already I mean it was just like there was nothing in it this thing I'll lock these two and we'll hit our survey scanner again I got those two locked uh, we're gonna I'm just gonna get the one at 492 and just get rid of it and it's 1,700. So I'm getting about 2,000 per cycle. So I'm be, I will, what I'll do is I'll, I'll short cycle this asteroid. I'll short cycle it about right there where you see my my cursor, about at seven eighths. And I'll empty that asteroid at seven eighths. And let me, let me show you the other trick. What I'll do is I'll jettison one container. Jettison. Okay, and then I'll go over to that, and you can do one or two ways. You can click on it and click open container, or you can double click on it, and it'll, it'll pop up over here. You see that? Click on the cargo container, and it has 8,000 in it click on my ore hold and I have 2100 in there okay the cool trick about this is one one thing what I would do is name it set name to say number one uh, so number numero uno okay uh, that's if I sit out here and I and I just and I'm just making containers. That's all I'm doing. I 
I'm going to sit out here and I'm just going to fill up containers. I'm getting ready to short cycle this. Right about there. How to do it. The asteroid is depleted. Depleted. Go to the next one. Again, see what I'm saying? There's, there's no volume. This here, 2,500, that's like one cycle and one eighth. One and an eighth cycles, and it's gone. So there's there's nothing. And then then the next closest uh, uh, viscous right here at 5,000, I'll get it. And then we're just going to be down to just doing proxers. Because but part now another part of my technique is that I don't move. I'm not moving around the ice field. I'm not wasting or the the uh, the asteroid field. I'm I'm not wasting moves. I'm just sitting in one spot, man. And that's it. And I don't want to be. I want to be within 2,500 of that container. What's nice about these containers is you can manipulate what's in the container. Where you can't do that with a uh, an MTU. An MTU basically you can stack all, but that's it. But in these containers here, you can manipulate what's in there. It's kind of cool if you need to or want to or whatever. Uh, like say, move uh, one unit there. I got one unit. I'm gonna stick it back. I can do it manually. That's the whole idea. That's what's great about this. It's at our level right here, these slow strip miners. I can I can actually uh, eject containers fast enough, but if I was in a boosted situation and I was teched up to say tech two, I would be I would be my cycle time would be so fast that you cannot jettison containers fast enough. So that you have to, you actually have to use this trick. And what it does is it makes your oil, the bad, the bad, the Covenant is the fat, second fastest mining ship in the game. There's only one faster mining ship in the game. Uh, but um, the problem with it, it has the smallest ore hold. Now what, now what, because I use containers, it makes that small ore hold a moot point. See what I'm saying? I, I, what, what, you know, what's, where's the problem here? I'm empty. <laughs> I just manually move it down there. Now I just maybe stack all, you know, and that's it. I'm working with containers. <laughs> so I, I, I render the small ore hold of the coveter a moot point. It has nothing to do with anything. It's not a detriment anymore. It doesn't matter the size of the ore hold. So this is basically my technique. Now, well, what I like to do is keep my mind drones open so I can see as long as that's red, I know they're busy. I know they're working and I gave them this asteroid all by all, all well I gave them that asteroid and that's their asteroid all by themselves so that will keep them busy for a long time I'm not having them jump from asteroid to asteroid to asteroid and so in a nutshell Basically, that is, oh, let me, uh, the asteroid yeah, depleted. I knew that the was depleted. depleted. Okay, so now we're going to go to the viscous. And because we just switched, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that solid. Put it in there. Stack all, because now we're working on viscous. And I don't want to have several different types of mineral, uh, ore in here. Um, now that's my basic technique now I'm sharing this with you you can do any way that you want to 
You don't have to use this technique. You can hybrid this technique. Maybe you, it's it's all about take what you need and leave the rest. Um, I would shorten this up. All I want to do is be able to read what's here. I don't like having my whole screen cluttered up. And then all I want to do is be able to read that number up here. So that dictates the size of this screen. Then I'm going to move this screen up under there and make it as tight as possible. And we are working on viscous. There's only one within range, and there it is. It's got 2,200 in it. So what that is is one cycle. Again, these asteroids are really small. I don't know why they're really small, but they are. Which means we're going to be just, we may have to move. I mean, if these all these peroxers are the same way, we're going to just be eating these asteroids, and we're going to have to move. And I don't like moving. Like I said, I like sitting in one spot. But I know a trick for, uh, for that, too. You like to be near your containers. So the people will come up, they can try to steal your container. And they'll get a suspect flag, which is yellow, but you can't kill a yellow guy. So even if I was in a ship that I could actually attack the guy, which I wouldn't be, I'm in a, you know, a minor mining ship, it uh, wouldn't do me no good. I can't attack him. So what you want to be is you want to be near your container. Some guy comes up in here... Uh, I just grab my container and pull as much of it in as I can and then warp out and come back in a, uh, a battleship or something. Just, what do you want? Oh, you're trying to steal my ore? Really? And just start bumping him. Bump him out of the doggone asteroid field. If he makes the mistake of firing on you, then you can kill him. But because uh, people will do that, they'll steal your dog on ore. Well, normally they won't do it in ore. They will do it in ice, and they will do it in moon mining because it's so valuable. But that—that's what's cool about mining these little asteroids. They're—it's they're peaceful. It's peaceful. It's just like I can come over here. I'm not making killer money, but I'm making safe. I'm making safe money. Uh, okay, and that's pretty much, uh, I don't know, did this thing go around once? Yeah, it did, okay, so, so now we're down to peroxers, and what I'll do is I'll go to the furthest one away, and that'd be at 14 kilometers, and then 13 kilometers, there's only a couple here, they're locked at 13 kilometers, switch over to peroxers, open that up, and then I'll hit my, uh, survey scanner and always use the scoped survey scanner that'll give you a 20 kilometer range and the only one better is going to be your tech 2 and it only gives you 22.50 and the difference in price you know what even though i could own a, a tech 2 i wouldn't this is it ml3 that's the one you want at all times even if you're tech 2 uh, and, and you're trained all the way up and you can use, you know, unless you've got millions and billions to just throw away, there's no reason why you should need a Tech 2. For an extra two and a half kilometers, it's not worth it. Uh, so go up here to your checked 13 and 14 and keep your distance. That would be the furthest to the closest and this is closest to the to the furthest. I want closest to the furthest. We have the third one here, the first one here, which is the closest uh, at 7,000 meters. Well, we got one at 1,000. Why is it not showing up? There it is. Okay. That's the one that, uh, and there's 1,000 left in it. Now, these other two. I got 2,000 in this one, and I got 1,000 in that one. I mean, the, these asteroids are just like, there's nothing in them. <laughs> they ain't hardly worth mining, man. 
You're going to be jumping from asteroid to asteroid. Oops, and I'm uh, busy making a video and not, uh, I just clicked on the wrong one. You got to light it up and then go. Okay. And so I'm on that 13 kilometer. That's how I identify it. Where is it? 13 kilometers right there. It's got 2180 M3. That's one cycle. One cycle that that asteroid will be history. Okay, that's my technique, and I, I gave as much information as I possibly could in the shortest amount of time, and how much time it took, I don't know. I got to go outside in order to operate this. 20-minute video, but a lot of information in there. So, Gomez Gaming, hints, tips, and tricks for new bros. Uh, there's, some, there's some hints and tips and tricks in that video. Take what you need and leave the rest. Good luck, have fun, and fly safe.